Hello everybody, my name is Ross Phillips and I work in the research and development department and I've been involved in, the, in, in the, developing the specification for our new medium rescue pumps. The medium rescue pump is, is built on a Volvo chassis, it has a, a fully automatic six speed gearbox and I'm going to show you around some of the features of, of the appliance today. In the near side front locker we have equipment such as long handled tools, uh, disc robe equipment, petrol, axes, hammers, tripods. In particular, down at the bottom here, we've got the service's new light portable pump, which is a Godiva 85, and, uh, and the new battery operated positive pressure ventilation fan. So here in the middle locker, we have water safety equipment, decon equipment, some ropes, up here is either gas tight suits or in this case the bariatric stretcher. In the water locker here at the back we've got the chimney equipment, fog spike, some salvage sheets and in particular the, the new hoses. So 52 millimeter lay flat and 22 millimeter high pressure hose reel. Both coloured yellow for easy identification. And what these allow us to do is to fight larger fires more effectively with, with more water. So particularly for wind driven, high fire loading or basement fires. So this is the near side rear locker. And in here we've got 70 mil lay flat hose, control dividing breaches, ground monitor, and various other pieces of water equipment. Another 22 mil hose reel and a whole new suite of branches. In the middle locker here we've got dedicated stowage for the driver and or the OIC's fire kit. We've put it on this side because this is usually the safe side during a fend off situation. Um, also on this side we've got stowage uh, along with various bits of other equipment, the Makita drills, lighting etc. This little uh, locker here has got um, BA cylinders. And then the RTC locker it has the full range of Weber hydraulic equipment, so battery operated hydraulic rescue equipment, dedicated spreader cutter, and on the other side of the pull-out board, a ram. Every new appliance now has new stabilization struts. These are made by Whole Matro and replace Stabfast. The next shelf up contains the control equipment for the high pressure lifting bags which are located here. So these lifting bags again every MRP will now have lifting bags and they provide the capability to perform a snatch rescue from under a heavy load. DPE and, and, and that sort of thing up there. The, the rest of the Makita equipment is in, is in here and as you can see the, um, the trauma pack and the defibrillator up there on that top shelf. So this is the pump. It's a Godiva 3010, which means it's a pump capable of moving 3,000 litres of water every minute at 10 bar. It's got a few nice little new features. Um, so these include the rapid crank handles, so we can open and close the deliveries much more quickly than we had previously. They've also got a pressure relief system built in. There is an inbuilt collecting head, which means that we can feed water, di water directly into the volute. Um, so there's no need to add extra equipment here, which makes us quicker and more efficient. There is uh, an automatic cooling loop, which means that the truck will, the, the pump will cool itself automatically. Again, no need for extra intervention from the, from the operator, as well as an automatic hydrant tank valve. So, the, so this vehicle will keep itself topped up with firefighting water, so long as we're working from a, from a hydrant or other pressure fed supply. But it's also got the ability to pause the power takeoff. So what that essentially means is that from the operator's position, we can switch the power on and off to the pump. Previously, we would have had to have gone to the driver's position and climbed into the truck to be able to do that. So again, that makes us faster and more efficient at the work we do. This pump is also equipped with a full foam system. So this is capable of making both class A, uh, so that's foam suitable for flammable solid materials, as well as class B foam, which is foam suitable for flammable liquids. Now, this is the first time that we've had that capability all together on in one vehicle. So it means that, the, that this vehicle is more 
more adaptable, is able to put out fires for a, a, a more wide-ranging variety of incidents.